Hi and welcome to Outwell and to the Montana 5P from our premium collection. It's a large tunnel design tent which is aimed to sleep up to five people. With it being in our premium collection you'll find that we're using our Outex 6000 fly sheet here. So this is a taffeta polyester material, so very good quality and durable long lasting material. It's PU coated on the inside and all of the uh, seams are of course taped to make sure that it's completely waterproof with a hydrostatic head of 6000 millimetres. The frame that we use from front to back on here is a steel frame, so very, very stable and very sturdy, even in high wind conditions. In fact, we have tested this tent to withstand a force 10 uh, on the Beaufort scale, so you can definitely be confident that this tent will stand up to the worst conditions possible. Some other nice features on the tent, we have large ventilation panels down the sides and around the back, and just under here, you should be able to spot that we have some mesh panelling on the inside just to allow cool fresh air into the tent. Of course, if it gets a little bit too chilly, then we can just take this away by removing the Velcro tabs and pressing down onto the panel itself. Other great features on the tent is that we have large tinted windows throughout. Now, uh, one thing I just want to point out, it's called the Montana 5P. Now, the P does not stand for premium, although it's in the premium collection. It actually stands for panoramic because what we have is this panoramic front on here. You can see that it's curved and on every single panel, we have a window to allow you to have great panoramic views from within the tent. So with the windows also being tinted, they serve two key functions. One is to reduce the amount of glare from the sun inside the tent. And secondly, is obviously to give you much better privacy when you're in there as well. Some other features to highlight, we are using our wind stabiliser system to aid with the stability of the tent and I'll just talk you through how that works. So all we have to do when setting up the tent is just wrap around these velcro straps like this and lock into position. You'll find that at the top and at the bottom of every single pole you have these in place and this is where we attach our guy lines. When we then take the guy lines out and peg them into position, what it does is it pulls the entire uh, material and fly sheet of the tent to uh, the frame making it much more taut and much more tight therefore much more stable as well so as I say tested to withstand a force 10 gale. The guy lines themselves are pre-attached and as you can see they are all luminous so hopefully that should stop you from tripping over them quite as easily and we do have some uh, reflective points throughout the tent as well so that in the uh, in the dark if you've got a head torch on or if you've got a, a torch then you should be able to see all these points very easily and very clearly. The, uh, the guy lines all have their own retainer, so when it comes to packing down the tent, very simply all we have to do is just wrap up the guy lines and pop them into these little loops here to make sure that the next time you come to use the tent, the guy lines are easily accessible. Something else that we give you on the Montana 5P is our easy pegging system. So this is where we supply you with three separate types of peg. We have the solid steel pegs here, which are for the corners of the tent, and these would go into the grey uh, pegging points, so these are your anchor pegs. We have the black plastic peg for all of the black pegging points around the edge of the tent. And of course we have the luminous peg to go with the luminous guy lines. So obviously it's in the name there, the easy pegging system, making it nice and easy for you to know that you're getting the right peg in the right place. Something else that I want to highlight is actually just on the other side of the tent. So just pop across there and show you that a really nice feature. Here we can see that we have a full rain safe entrance on this side of the tent here and obviously that's going to give you great protection if the weather's pretty nasty. It's also a really good versatile area to be used as storage or things like this as well which we can show you from the inside. Coming around to the front of the tent just to highlight that the front door on here is actually a really good size front door so getting all of your furniture and things like that into the tent is going to be nice and easy because it's certainly wide enough for that. It's also very high as well so it is a full walk-in tent you're not having to duck to get in underneath the door. Uh, the door itself is obviously rolled away at the moment, but just to highlight, there is a full mesh door on here as well, so you can drop that down while still having the outside waterproof door up, and that's going to give you uh, great ventilation within the tent and hopefully keep out those unwanted bugs as well. I just uh, while I'm here, I want to highlight the, uh, the dry zip that we use on here. So if you can imagine the waterproof door being down and closed over this area here, then obviously that's going to protect the zips pretty well. If any water does get in behind that, then we have this beading here, which you can see is the luminous beading. It's not just there for design. It does have a function as well to hopefully take the water down and away from this zip here. If water does get through here, then there is another piece of material, which again has a channel just here, which you can hopefully see, which is going to take the water away from the inside zip. And then also just to be extra safe, we then tape the, uh, the zip itself in here as well. So a lot of protection on this zip to make sure that the whole front door 
is completely sealed and waterproof. So now just stepping into the tent, I think the first thing that's quite obvious in here is just how much space there is. There's certainly plenty of head height. I'm quite tall at around six foot three and you can see I have plenty of height uh, above me here and there's lots of space around us. You can see we have a, a full table and chair set up in here and there's still plenty more storage space. I also just want to highlight here that it's quite a versatile tent because we have obviously the front door as we've talked about there. We have the rain safe entrance on this side here which I also mentioned but you can see that it's actually a really good size area so you can have a storage unit in here or something like that. This door can obviously be fully opened up as well. Again, you have a full mesh door on this side here too, so great ventilation from this side. But also on the other side of the tent, we have another entrance on here as well. And you can see once again that we have a mesh door on here too. So three full mesh doors allowing great ventilation within the tent, as well as those ventilation panels that we also highlighted on the outside. So the bedrooms for the tent are at the back and these come pre-attached. So that's a job that you don't need to worry about. They're already in place. So when you pitch the tent for the first time, you'll find that these are already here. The way that we attach the bedrooms to the tent is using our wave-shaped hanging point system. And uh, whilst, yes, it's very stylish and very modern looking, it also has a great function as well of taking any of the stress off of the seam of the top of the bedroom here. So you're not gonna get any damage on the bedrooms here. We also have some great other features on here. We have plenty of storage pockets on the outside for smaller personal possessions. Both of the doors have large uh, mesh ventilation panels on there as well. They do have curtains behind there, which we have closed at the moment, so you can open them up for great ventilation, or if you do want that privacy, then you can close the curtain over. Inside the bedrooms, there are more features to highlight with the blackout ceiling on here, just to hopefully keep out that bright sunlight first thing in the morning. We have a large ventilation across the back of the tent here, which corresponds to outside ventilation as well. Down in the corner, you can just see here that we have these handy mesh storage pockets, which are ideal for smaller personal possessions. And down in the corner here, we also have a low light window, which allows you access to uh, be able to look outside from your bed without having to leave. Here, you can see that we have a full zipped sheet, which you can separate the two bedrooms um, as we have done here. But obviously this can be fully opened up to create one large bedroom as well, if you want to. Also, you'll just notice in between the bedrooms on the outside, we have this zip which runs down between them and this forms our universal inner tent and we'll just show you now how that works. We have a lantern hanging point at a central location at the front of the tent here and then we have cable tidies which run all the way down the side here to our cable entry point which is just here. Now what you can do is obviously just zip this open and you can then run your electric cables from the outside to the inside and still have your mesh door or your outside waterproof door down. No problem at all. While I'm here I just want to highlight the ground sheet that we have in the porch area here is a detachable ground sheet. It's exactly the same material as what we use in the tent. So totally waterproof and obviously just toggles into place. Inside the tent we have the, uh, as I say, same material here and it's a uh, bathtub style ground sheet so you can see it's just coming up at the edges here. It's a double coated polyethylene so very durable and obviously completely waterproof as you would expect with a hydrostatic head of 10,000 millimetres. With it being a bathtub style ground sheet you're not going to have any drafts, you're going to keep out dirt and dust and sand and hopefully keep out those unwanted creepy crawlies as well. Also while I'm here, I mentioned the windows that we have all the way around us earlier on. If you don't want to uh, have these windows fully open, then we have curtains for every single one. You can see we've just toggled this away at the moment. But these just zip, so you can actually choose exactly how much light you're letting in or how much privacy you're getting within the tent as well. So there's a few optional extras available for the Montana 5P that would include uh, carpets for this area here, of which there are two different styles. There is a three layer insulated carpet and there's also a fleece carpet available too. We have a footprint available to go under the tent 
which is going to protect the ground sheet from dirt and dust and things like that when it comes to uh, packing the tent down. There's also a front awning available for this tent, which would give you much more outside living space. And there's also a roof protector available too. So there you have it. That's all the optional extras and all the features of our Montana 5P from our premium collection. Thanks very much for watching.